Hi, welcome to day five of the Confident Mormon Woman 10 Day Challenge. I am so excited that you are here, that you are with us. And I hope you've had a lot of learning on day one, two, three, and four. I hope you've discovered a lot of things about you, the, the awesomeness. I would love to hear your list on what makes you so awesome. I would love for you to share that. Feel free to, to message it to me. That, that is amazing, the, the exploration that comes from that. I hope you're starting to feel empowered. I hope you're being able to listen and recognize that little voice in your head, the little saboteur, so you can turn it down a little bit or do something to thwart it, to get it out of, out of there so it doesn't control your life so much. I hope you've identified your values that help you as you go day-to-day -day life. And oh, I am so excited for today. Um, I know most of you have seen Frozen. Um, I would assume most of you have seen Frozen. And you know, one of the favorite songs is there is Let It Go. That, appropriately enough, is our title for today, is to let it go, to change your story. Do you know, so often in our minds, we concoct these little stories that may or may not be true. We put meaning to them, emotion to them that may or may not have happened. So I'm going to give you an example. Say you're driving down the road and somebody cuts you off. Now, more than likely, the average reaction for most people is, you know, you call them a jerk, whatever, you know, cut them off. Um, anyway, you're not really happy. You yell at them like they can hear you in your car, but you yell at them. That, that is a very common response. However, if you knew that that man that just cut you off was on his way to the hospital. He just found out his daughter had been in a really serious car accident and he was just racing to get to the hospital. Would your perspective change on that a little bit? Would you be so angry at him for cutting you off? Or would you say to yourself, oh, I hope he makes it. I hope, I hope he gets there okay and I hope she's going to be okay. That is a great example of, of how we tell ourselves stories. So in that case, we don't know what happened? I mean, he may could be a jerk, but he may not be. I mean, we don't know, but we tell ourselves that story. So if we're going to tell us ourselves tell ourselves a story that we make up anyway, why don't we make up a better story? You know, if if we don't know, so the next time you get cut off, instead of that, think of something. He's on his way. Maybe his wife's just having a baby, or you know, whatever it could be. We don't know. So why do we tell ourselves a bad story? Let's tell ourselves a good story, and then we feel better, whether it's true or not. It doesn't matter. So be really careful to attach emotion. To a situation that's where it comes emotional is when we attach an emotion to that it's not necessarily a good or bad thing but when we attach something to it and i think about how does that work in your own life think about the stories that you tell yourself do you ever tell yourself that you're old you're too young you're too whatever before something happens that you're not ready to let go of this what is holding you back from being all that you can be is it fear? Is it whatever? What is holding you back? Are you afraid of letting go of something? Are you afraid of holding on to something? What's holding you back? You don't have the money. You don't have the time. What's holding you back? Is there someone in your life you haven't forgiven that's holding you back? Is there something you're just so angry with that you can't let go? Unless we can let go of that, it's like we're holding, it's like we're out to sea and we have this ginormous cement anchor around, attached to us. We are not ever going to be able to be all we can be by holding on to stuff that's holding us back. I work with a client recent, just recently that was holding on to some stuff from 25 years ago. Some feelings that she had for someone for 25 years. She thought of it almost daily. It was killing her. It was just such a drain on her. And as I explained to her, you're holding all this in and, and this person doesn't even know you're mad. You don't even get, he's not even, he doesn't even know. So you're punishing yourself every, every day for 25 years because you're holding on and you can't let go of that. What does that get us? It gets us nowhere. And yeah, it may be a struggle, but what are you holding on to? And what purpose is it serving you? Who? Can you be, who could you be and what could you be doing if you let go of the garbage that's holding you back? Whatever that garbage is. And you know, I don't, you know, you know what it is that's holding you back. What would it take to let go of that? That actually is going to be homework. Question number one. What is, what is holding you back? 
And then the second question I want you to answer is what would your life be like if you were free from that? If you have to sing the song, let it go all day long, sing it. Every time you start having that feeling, find something that helps you take your mind off of taking you to that bad place that you want to let go of. Think of yourself as in, in this big red balloon that you're you know, going to send up. You've got a helium balloon and you're letting go. Where does it go? You just let it go. If you need to have a ceremony of sorts, if somebody hurt you and you're holding on to that, it's just hurting you. It's not hurting them at all. If you need to have a ceremony, you could write it down on that helium balloon and let it go, the whole situation, and be willing to let it go. Only you can let it go when you're ready. Tell yourself a different story. You are more than you've become. Let it go so you can discover who you are. Those things hold us down. They can make us physically sick, physically sick by the things that we hold on to. So why are we filling in our minds with that stuff when we could be filling it with joyous, amazing things, music, family, children, the beautiful world outside. We could go hiking. We could, whatever it is, there's so many wonderful things for us. What point is it for you to hold on? So my challenge today is to write down, number one, what you're holding on to, what what is holding you back? And the second one is what would it be like if you would let go of that stuff? I know those are a little tricky. Spend some good time with this. Really, really do this assignment. Great things can happen. You need to know that you and only you are the one that will be willing to let go of that. It's not based on anybody else. It is a choice that you will make. So as long as you are aware, what if you can let go of whatever is holding you back today, that's great. Otherwise, identify it, take the responsibility that when you are ready to let go, you will. So that's your homework for today. I hope you have an awesome day. We're at day five. So until next time, have a great day.